the seven member select committee of the Nagaland government right now is uh, having a meeting at the Rhododendron Hall in Chumukadima Police Complex. Now this um, select committee is for the examination of the municipal bill. Uh, it is led by TR Ziliang and the other members include KG Kenye, Paiwang Konyak, Jacob Zimomi, Mitsubu Jamir, Advisor Zalio Rio and Matang Yantan. Now this uh, he spoke to Nagaland News Network TR Ziliang and he said that this is convened uh, for the uh, examination of the amendment of the bill whether and when it will be held. Most likely the elections will be held soon uh, where with 33% reservation now all this has come into context and this will all be discussed here in today's meeting. Let's have a look at what Tia Ziliang had to say and uh, after the meeting as well what they will be speaking about. Can you give us uh, on today's objective of the meeting for today? So the thing has been condemned for this uh, select committee, okay, assembly sir. select committee. Okay, sir. We discuss and examine the issue of this uh, municipal act, the amendment of the municipal act. So we are going to discuss on that. Okay, sir. We will be the election and amendment of Nagaland municipal act. Okay, sir. And how many people are uh, attending the meeting and which, uh, any organizations or only the select committee, sir? Only select committee and assembly. Chief secretary is also coming. Okay, sir. Chief secretary is invited and then assembly secretary. The select committee that has been entrusted by the government of Nagaland to make sure that the bill, the Naga Municipal Bill of 2023 is examined was held here today. A meeting was held here today at the police complex at the officer's mess in Chumukadima. And uh, Tia Ziliang also after the meeting spoke to media persons in a press conference where he said that they are for the 33% reservation of women and that the ULB elections will take place. Uh, but with the consultation of tribal hohos and CSOs. For this, he informed that they will also go and have a sitting with uh, the CSOs and tribal hohos. And then uh, whatever is decided will be um, spoken about at the assembly session, the emergency session that is due to be held on uh, November 9th in Kohima. Let's have a look at the press conference. Today, meeting of this uh, select committee has been convened to examine on the issue of this ULB election with 33% uh, women reservations. The assembly has been summoned on 9th November, that is an uh, emergency session. So before that, uh, the committee has to, the, the committee has to uh, examine and take a decision and submit our recommendation to the assembly so that the amendment of the act, Nagaland Municipal Act 2023 can be placed in the assembly and passed by the assembly so that we can have uh, election after the assembly passed the act. So with a short notice, we convened the meeting we have discussed and we have decided to have a public consultation meet, meet so that after consultation with this uh, civil societies, tribal, tribal hoes, we will adopt resolution and prepare our com uh, recommendation to the assembly. So for that, uh, we have shared our mind that uh, to go ahead with you will be election with 33% reservation because Supreme Court has not passed any judgment so far. But if you keep on waiting for the sub Supreme Court to deliver judgment or if you keep on struggling, it will be a loss to the people. So state government has decided that uh, we need to go ahead with this uh, ULB election with 33% reservation. So on this matter we have discussed and we have decided to have a public consultation meet. So we are inviting all the tribal leaders to, to share our mind and to explain the position of this state government so that we all go together and have ULB election.
which is what we have discussed. Sir, uh, last time also the CSOs and tribal OOs have given their green uh, thumbs up to hold the elections as well. This was before the assembly session, and then the bill was passed. So now a law has to be uh, passed, sir. No, the bill was not passed. The uh, bill was introduced. introduced yes, sorry. The bill was introduced, but it was not passed. But there are some certain uh, remark given by some civil societies mm -hmm. on the issue of this land and property tax, mm -hmm. which should be deleted from the Act. So accordingly, uh, we have decided to delete all this land and property tax from the Act. And on top of that, some section of people mm, uh, went against this uh, provision that uh, uh, chairperson, mm, chairperson should be reserved from women. So women should represent as chairperson. That provision also to be deleted. So that provision also we have discussed, and we intend to delete that uh, that uh, parts of the act also. So these are little changes that uh, we intend to make, and we'll explain to the civil society, and then take it to the house for passing the bill. So is the government of Nagaland prepared in case of any Incident that might occur like the last time where two lives were lost. Is the government going to be fully prepared this time that no such occurrences should happen? If no, that is why we are having consultation. If the public understand together, and we are if we are on the same page, why it such incident should take place? Because people do not understand at that point of time. But now everybody understood mm -hmm. that elections should be held and development should come in our town. <laughs> So when people are yeah. see, understand together, I think uh, there should not be any problem. For that, we are going to convene a meeting. The state government, the state cabinet has already decided. But select co committee, the objective of select committee is, uh, see, whether this Women Reservation Act in Article 371A or not, that we, uh, we yeah. have to cross-examine. And uh, on our own violation, we have agreed to go ahead with this election. On 1st September, a uh, meeting was convened, consultative meeting. There, we have explained uh, clause by clause. And again, this time, we are going to explain to them to, to make them understand what are the contents in the Act and what are we going to propose for amendment, which are to be deleted from the Act and uh, where we have considered to their demand. We are going to explain to them.